Hey everyone, this is Monkey1000 and today we are going to make a snow globe. Uh, I went to Dollar Tree and found a snow globe um, thing and I got me a couple of ornaments to put inside it. So this is what we're going to do. I'm sorry that I have to narrate this. My speaker was crackling too bad for me not to. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so what I'm doing now, I'm showing you the snow globe that I got and um, let me see what we got. So I'm talking about what I got, the ornament that I bought that I was going to cut the Merry Christmas and the label off and I wanted to use the truck. That's what I was going to do. I bought some little Christmas trees to put in there and the snowflakes and I bought all that at Dollar Tree. Um, there's the directions in my hand and I'm thinking that the truck is going to be too big it's not going to fit I also told you you need a Gorilla Glue that's waterproof or something that is an adhesive that will use in water and there's your snow globe and I'm showing you the snow globe um, here I decided I was looking at it to see if the stuff is going to work and how it's going to work. I also showed you I bought a projector LED light at Dollar Tree and I was going to put it beside it and turn it on at night by the tree so then it would gl you know you could see the little 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 ornaments on the inside of the globe at night. So I'm explaining that and I'm looking at the globe trying to see all right do I stick it inside that way or do I stick it up that way and, and stick the ornaments but then if you flipped it the other way <laughs> I really didn't know what I was doing at the point <laughs> but I figured it out later on as you'll see um, yeah so the globe you know you can't have it that way because it's not going to sit right so it has to be the other way <laughs> so you put the cap on with all the stuff in and you turn it upside down that's what you do so I end up showing that eventually yeah just like that so there's your directions and what you need everything you can freeze it if you like just in case you're interested in doing one on your own um, yeah so it, it gives you step by step in instructions so um, but there was a, a problem and I haven't figured that out quite yet it says to use sandpaper to rub on the inner surface as I'm saying this through this video and you're supposed to do it to smooth it out and then you glue your little ornaments on this inner piece well, I'm thinking the inner piece I keep talking about is the lid on the the twisty lid. No, it's not. It is an inner piece that goes inside. <coughs> Excuse me. It goes inside and it helps seal it, but it also lets you put your little ornaments on it. Then the screw top goes on top. Well, I'm missing the inner piece so uh, for the project which is really quite important to have and I when I was at Dollar Tree they were all screwed with caps on and so I figured and had the instructions inside so I figured everything was there that needed to be there well obviously not now <coughs> um, so I'm looking at the glue and the glue says it sticks like quickly so I'm thinking okay cool but on the back of it it says it takes 24 hours for it to set and I'm like oh now I'm gonna have to do this video you know and let it set and then do it tomorrow which is Sunday so um but I didn't end up doing that you didn't really have to this glue is really good stuff but you got to be careful I got some on my skin and I have a rash on my skin now not a whole lot but a little bit and so anyways um, 
I'm I'm reading this trying to figure out how I'm going to do this and I didn't know at this time that I needed that inner peace but I do figure it out <laughs> in a few minutes and uh, so it, it sucked because now what am I going to do you know I want to do this video I thought it would be really cool to do and now I, I can't do it because I don't have the important piece to this video. So I'm reading it and um, it suddenly dawns on me that there's a piece missing. In fact, I went on YouTube and looked up one and saw this girl had the same one and she had the inner tube, the inner liner or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I realized, oh my gosh, this globe does not have it. So I turn off the, the video and I will be back in a few minutes and I'll tell you the rest of the story. Okay, so what happened is I decided I was going to go to Walmart and see if I could find the inner piece, maybe in the craft section, maybe they have these, maybe they had globes, you know, in, in the craft section. So I went to Walmart, did not find anything that I could use or I couldn't find a globe. At this time uh, of Christmas time, you know, a lot of these globes are already gone because people have already made them for gifts or or whatever they've used them for so I went back to Dollar Tree to see if I could find something um, that might work or would they have the globes still well, of course they did not have any globes they hardly had any ornaments left um, so I'm looking through the store trying to figure out you know how am I going to make this better um, how am I going to make this work so we can do this this video so I did find some um, I, I am right here explaining about how you had to have this inner piece. There you go. I bought this. It's a uh, mixer that you make pancakes in. It's a small mini one. And I cut the bottom of it off. That's what I did. I did not show how I cut it off, but I just cut it off with a knife. And I struggled, and then I shaved it to try to make it as smooth as I could. And it will fit. It fits perfectly. So I made me one. So here I am showing you how it's going to fit. And then I'm going to glue it all the way around once I get my ornaments there. With that Grazilla glue. So, um, yeah. And so I had bought, I figured out the truck is too big. I can't use it. So when I was at Dollar Tree... I found a few ornaments that are mini ornaments and as I'm going to show you now I got a truck and a little trailer and I have my Christmas trees so that would work. Now the basis is not very big so you don't have a whole lot of room on this little base. So I was going to use the truck and the trailer and I was going to put the truck on one side and the trailer on the other so when you turn the globe you could see one or the other. But I decided not to do that and I didn't put the camper on there. That's what I left off as you will see in my video. Um, I'm bringing you up a little closer so you can see it um, and uh, go from there. So yeah I'm just bringing the camera down so you can see what I what I'm gonna do here but I had to make one that's exactly what I did so thank goodness I found this it was a dollar twenty five because now Dollar Tree is not a dollar anymore it's a dollar twenty five so you know so um, anyway so I got that and um, so I'm looking at these, you know, little uh, ornaments and I tear them open and I'm going to show you in a minute, um, you know, what I do with them. I don't remember what I was saying to y'all. 
<laughs> I really don't. I chatter and talked a lot, so <laughs> who knows what I was talking about. So I was quite upset, you know, because I had to go and do all this. But this is the, a lesson, you know. You, you, you never know when you start a project what you're going to get into. And I do mine right on the camera. I don't do one as a, you know, to see if it's going to work and make sure it works first. I, I do everything right on. So if I do have a problem, then you ha might have the same problem. So you know, oh, this could happen, you know, why she, you're making this. So now I have the truck and the little trailer and the tree. And I was going to leave it like that, but I really didn't like it. I thought it was a little bit too much. So I took the camper off. That's what I ended up doing. I'm trying to bring it a little closer. And I didn't realize you weren't in the camera. Um, when I brought it closer, I thought you were seeing it better. Because they are small. And I wanted to get it a little closer up. And my camera only zooms in so much. So then I bring the, have to bring the camera down. Or I think I moved them back a little bit in a few minutes. Um, yeah, I'm taking the camper off. So... Um, yeah, that's what happened here. In a few minutes, I'll realize that you weren't even in the camera. You were looking at my counter. So, I ended up putting the truck in there, and I put two small mini trees in there. And it worked perfectly. And it wasn't too crowded. I wish I could have found a little Santa Claus that they had, but, um, yeah, they didn't have any. There you go. So... As you see, yeah, and that's as far as I can focus in on my camera. So, but you can see it pretty good. Um, and all I have to do now is basically glue it. And you know, I use the Grizzilla, the Gorilla, Grizzilla <laughs> glue, the Gorilla glue. Oh my God, I can't talk. And um, it worked really good. So I'm really, really like this Gorilla glue. Um, and it, this will be great for all kinds of stuff that, you know, it's waterproof, so you can't complain there. So, I don't know what happened here. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I think I was trying to adjust the camera or something. There you go. I'm trying to show you a little closer. That's what I was trying to do. And uh, you're still not seeing me very well. I don't know why, but I was trying to make sure the mics were working. The mic did work. It just scratched right through the whole thing. It was very scratchy, so uh, it just wasn't working. And, of course, I didn't know until after the video was made. So I'm adjusting here so you can see the ornament. And I'm going to get the glue out. And uh, we're going to use this glue. So I'm quite happy with that glue. Really am. So I, I used this glue once to... Um, I had chairs in my other place I lived in. And they fell apart. I had a whole dining room set. And it was a nice dining... I spent a lot of money on it. But the chairs, they, two of the chairs had the arms, and the arms broke off. So I used the grill, this glue, Gorilla Glue, and it held it really good. And you, you didn't know, you know. I clamped it and let it set, and it worked really, really good. I was impressed. So now I'm going to glue this stuff together. Um... I glued it onto the wheels. Now, um, one video girl had a car and she took the wheels off and made it more flat for whatever reason. I didn't do that. I wasn't going to, I'm not going to go through all that, especially with I already have gone through for the day to do this video. <laughs> I had had pretty much enough by this point. And, uh, but I wanted to finish it. I wanted to see, you know, because I thought it was really cute. 
And um, I was thinking, you know, you could do all kinds of stuff with these. You could make them for your grandkids, you know, put little favorite things that they like and make a little thing for them. And they would have it beside their bed and they can shake it. Or you could put angels in them. And you, I mean, it's, it's endless what you can put in them. So, and who you can give them to. You can make small ones. They have little tiny ones. I think you can go on uh, Amazon or you could probably go to Michael's and find them. And they have smaller ones where you can make a little tiny ones. And you can give them for a gift or something, you know, at Christmas or baby shower. Put first baby inside it or something like that. It would be cute. So, um, anyways, I got it glued. And you just let it dry. And then I will come back. And I'm talking about the camper. That I'm just going to keep it for another time. And I might make another one eventually. Maybe when I can find the inner tube. I could have ordered it online. But it wouldn't have been here in time. And Christmas probably would have been almost over. So, And I wanted to get this video up. So um, anyways. I might order one online. And do another one another time and uh, do something different um, yeah so anyways I'm letting it dry um, and what I do I end up letting it dry for a couple of hours uh, I was doing this and I was cleaning house because Shaber was away he went on his fishing solo camping trip on his own so I had the whole evening to myself with my mom and I had her wrapping Christmas gifts for me and I was cleaning house and doing this video at the same time and uh, yeah so I was trying to get things done for Christmas so I'll be right back and I will show you the rest Okay, guys, we're back. And uh, right now, I was looking to see, and the glue was, it was, the, it dried. So you didn't need to wait 24 hours. Maybe for heavy things, you might have had to. So I'm showing you, it's on there. I'm not waiting 24 hours to finish the project. Um, I had waited a couple of hours and did some cleaning of my house and waited for it to dry for a while. So now I got the snowflakes here and I'm going to put the snowflakes in and I used uh, the bottom and and put the globe in there so then you know it would hold it or otherwise it'd be wobbling <laughs> so I didn't say how much um, flakes to put in it so I guess it depends on how much you want and so I put the whole thing in there and I thought once I put it in there, I thought maybe it would be too much. And I, I asked my mother and she, she thought, no, it won't be too much. It'll be all right. So I ended up putting all that in there, as you can see. Um, yeah, so I'm shaking it up. I'm showing her, seeing it, if she thinks it's too much. She's sitting over there wrapping the gifts, so... And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to put this lid on and shake it around to, just to see how much is really going to be in there. And I'm shaking it and she's like, no, nah, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. So I'm like, okay. So I took it off and of course I'm getting it on the counter too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to move it around. So, and I still have some on the counter. So, um, yeah. So, I tried to put a little bit in there. It fell out of the bag. And, uh, there. So, okay. So, now I'm going to put the lid, <laughs> lid on. And I don't know why. So, I'm put. I'm going to put, end up putting the, the inner piece in. And uh, seal it. That's what I'm going to do next. And I'm still debating on how much snow to be in there. So I'm thinking, okay, now I got to put the truck in there and I got to seal it. And and I'm, I'm showing you what I'm going to do. I used both. I ended up using the Gorilla Glue first. I let it set for a little bit. And then I used the hot glue gun too to use around it. And um, as you see, 
I'm going getting ready to put the glue on and my mom says you need to put the water in there <laughs> it's a good thing she said something or I probably would have glued it and then realized I have to put water in it <coughs> sorry it's my meds so anyways we got the water in there and I got it up and I ended up gluing it I believe I already have glue on there um, and I'm letting it set. I think I have the glue on there already, yeah. So, as I'm doing this, and, um, I had to put the glue gun on because I was going to use it next after this dried for a little bit. So, I'm hooking up the hot glue gun again, and I come back, and... This is what happens. So I come back and what happened is as I was trying to um, put more glue on it, it tipped over and water and the flakes went everywhere. All over the counter. As you see the paper towels are there. And I also got it all over my dress I was wearing. So I had to change my clothes. <laughs> so it's because I was using the lid for a base you really need something a little bit more sturdier and it just tipped enough that it just made it all come out thank goodness I didn't have any baby oil in there because a lot of people use the baby oil and um, no it would have been really messy so I got it all cleaned up got myself cleaned up and I came back I did let it seal I put the hot glue gun on there I did not show that as you know I mean you know how to do that but then I had to put the twisty cap on and when I went to put twisty cap on that it wouldn't fit all the way because the hot glue gun was too thick so I had to scrape some of it off and when I scraped some of it off on a couple of sides it got too thin and the water started to leak so I was showing you it wasn't leaking a little bit it was just leaking a little bit not not real real bad so as I was showing you it was like okay um, I'll fix it after the video no big deal I'll put some more uh, Gorilla Glue on there and it'll, it should be good so I was just showing you and I wanted you to see what it was going to look like before I did all that. So I just shook it up a little bit. There was drips of water getting on the counter a little bit, but no big deal. So I shook it up to show you how it's going to look. And uh, it looked pretty good considering all the problems I had. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I like it. Um, the only thing is, I think the ornaments are a little bit too small. Um, it's a big globe. And I just I think it could have been, uh, maybe if I had that inner piece like I was supposed to, it would have been pushed up in there more. And it would have been up a little higher. So maybe then it would have worked better. So maybe in a later time I will try to order one through Amazon or something. And um, make another one. Um, maybe not a Christmas one. But maybe, you know, I'll do something. And uh, yeah. So I got this LED um, pr projector light that... I'm going to show you what it's going to look like in the dark. So I'm trying to open that up. And I'm talking about the globe. I mean, it is, it's cute. But I had to still, I put it on a plate. Because I was afraid of it leaking. <laughs> it still was leaking a little bit. So, um, but the Gorilla Glue, it, it's not its fault. I just think I put too much of the other stuff. Maybe just use the Gorilla Glue. Uh, um, and not not a hot glue gun, too. You don't need both, I don't think. And um, it might have worked better. So, um, I'm talking about, I got this at Dollar Tree and the little light. And I have to get batteries, <laughs> of course. You have to have batteries for everything today. So I'm going. 
So here I am back. I got the batteries and uh, we are going to put it on. I'm going to turn the lights off so you can see it and see how well it works in the dark. Now, I still had another light. I had the little light, um, the round light that we use for, for our cameras. There we go. So now it's all off and you can kind of put it on there. And uh, you can kind of see it. My mom's door was open and the light was on so it wasn't completely dark in there. And there you go. It's, it's cute. Um, I still would have liked the ornaments a little bit bigger. Like I said, the inner piece probably would have made a lot better. But use what you can and get what you can at the time so and I wanted you guys to see this video before Christmas just to give you an idea just in case you know you might want to do it for next Christmas or or something you know I really wanted to do this around Thanksgiving but I was so busy I wasn't able to um, you know we were always doing something so and I help him with his videos too so um, you know. So, anyways, I got it done. I am so, so happy with it. Um, you know. But, I'm going to try it again, I think, in a later time. And, uh, do another one. Now that I've done one. You know, so. It's cool. But still leaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I did fix it I did put more glue on there and stuff but I do still have it on a plate on the table just in case it starts to leak so um yeah there you go I'm trying to see what it would be and my mom's checking it out you know she's sitting on the sofa still so she's checking it out too and she liked it I think uh, she thought it was cool idea it is, and it is it's a pretty cool idea so it would be cool if you had Santa Claus and, and his sleigh up in the in the water there a little bit that would have been cool looking you know and still had the trees in the truck on the bottom that would be really cool but these ornaments, you know, are, are almost all gone now. So it's hard to find them now. So maybe next year. <laughs> so, and there you go. And I have no clue what I'm talking about in this video from this. I, I don't know what I was saying. Um, so... And that's it. And there you go. I turned the light back on. And, uh, there. So, um, yeah. I was explaining, you know, how frustrated I was with this project. And then I went in to go into, I, I swear I was, I don't know what was going on last night. Weird stuff. So I, I had to go to the bathroom and the door was locked from the inside. And I never touch that because I know if I turn that accidentally, I'm going to lock the door and I'm going to lock myself out of the bathroom. So... Of course, I have to go really bad. And I'm trying to get this unlocked, and Shea Bear's not here to help me, so I wasn't too happy about that either. So it was not a very good day yesterday at all. But at least I got my house clean for Christmas. <laughs> so I did accomplish that, and I did get my globe done, you know, and um, yeah. So it turned out okay. Um, I still would like to do another one because I think it would be better with that inner piece so but I was explaining all this 
at the end here and I was shaking it I like to shake it they're pretty I really like globes always have and uh, yeah so there you go I keep shaking it and my mom liked it she thought it was cool so I really don't know how much of the snow flakes you should put in there I uh, I had had the whole bag in there and that was I would say too much and probably I don't know if I put the same amount in or what I got now um, maybe a little less I don't want you just when you shake it you just want enough where it shakes and it pretty you don't want a bunch that's going to be just on top you know and uh, so yeah so there you go so monkey says she's out for now and I hope you enjoyed the video even though you know it was a fail but it wasn't a fail I saved the day by making something so and you gotta sometimes think outside the box to to make a project work so I'm saying I'm out for now and have a great Christmas everyone and bye monkey's out